Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn is with me from Capitol Hill. She's a Republican from Tennessee. Representative, it's good to see you today. You have spoken out very strongly against President Obama's executive actions. Can you broadly tell me what's your problem with his uh, executive actions when it comes to the new gun control measures? Absolutely, and indeed, this is more of what he considers to be his standard operating procedure. Instead of coming to Congress, which is, by the way, a co-equal branch of government, what he wants to do is circumvent us. And he wants to rewrite part of the HIPAA law, which is patient privacy on health information. He wants to change uh, some of the gun laws and just do all of this by executive order and basically what he should do is put down that pen and pick up that phone and call Congress and say work with me on this we would love to have him work with us on some of these issues Contessa we've been trying to move a mental health bill now for a couple of years and of course Dr. Murphy from Pennsylvania is the one who's had the lead on that legislation. We would love for the president to work with us on it. When President Obama says that he wants to change the federal privacy laws to keep people with mental health restrictions from possessing guns, do you have a problem with that exact order or is it just the fact that the president is uh, taking that action by himself without the support yeah, of Congress? Yeah, Contessa, what is happening is he is trying to do all of this and do it by executive order. HIPAA can only be changed by Congress. And if you want permanent change, you're going to have to come work with us. Does HIPAA need to be updated? Absolutely it does. It is something that I've been saying now for well over a year. It's okay, so that on that law. one, it's not the content, it's the way it's gone about. Let me ask you about another one. Hiring more than 230 additional FBI employees to help with the screening process. We know, for instance, Dylan Roof, responsible for that tragic church shooting in Charleston, South Carolina, had slipped through the cracks when he was buying his weapon. Um, is that something that you agree with the content on? My understanding is that there are already provisions in place. Anytime someone goes to purchase a gun, whether the purchase is allowed or denied, there is the record of that and the FBI has, inf has access to all of that information. The president, here again, he needs to come and work with Congress. But, but hiring this is additional executive overreach. And, but here again, it is the manner in which he is approaching all of this it is inappropriate for him to try to rewrite law you know Contessa one of the things that people talk to us about a lot is they don't like the federal courts trying to rewrite law from the bench that is something that is reserved it's an exercise reserved to but the house and the Senate and that's the, where what it the needs president to be. says is that the Congress lawmakers have shirked their responsibility by not addressing gun violence. And in fact, I in disagree your with Okay, that. let me just finish I here. Disagree in your with statement that. today, you actually said that the president needs to focus on terrorism and stop, take a step back away from gun violence. And yet, in the last 10 years, looking here from 2005 to October 2015, this is according to PolitiFact, there were 301, almost 302,000 deaths from guns there were 71 deaths from domestic acts of terrorism. I mean, don't the numbers alone demand action from Congress? What we do know is that when you have more gun laws, it does not make an area safer. That is something you can look at the stats from California or so many other places. So you know that is not something that is going to make an area safer. Here now, what we will have to do is go through the process of doing some defunding provisions. We will have to file a lawsuit. We'll take him to court. It will probably be like the executive amnesty. Two federal courts have ruled against that, have said it is unconstitutional. There again, that is something that slows up the process. We would much rather see him come and work with us on this. Okay, I understand. You feel like he's encroaching mm -hmm. on your territory yes. as a lawmaker. I understand that point. And I think there are a lot of people... I think he people... is encroaching on the freedoms of the American people. And I, they, I, I have, Back to the has... issue of gun violence, though. Yeah. When you're looking at 10 years... 
that almost 302,000 Americans have been killed with guns. Whether you are uh, for more gun control laws or, or against more gun control laws, I can't help but think that every American should be concerned about 302,000 Americans dying oh, yes, by guns. Yes, and we are. So, and so we are. And this is why we have worked diligently looking at that thread uh, that goes through so many of these crimes, the majority of these crimes, looking at that, and they go back to the mental health issue. So, yes, you start with that mental health component. We would welcome the president working with us on that. Representative Marsha Blackburn, it's so good of you to join us. Thank you so much for good giving to us be your with perspective. You. Absolutely. Thank you.